It's a new year. You may plan to exercise more, eat healthier, lose some weight year after year. Those are the top three New Year's resolutions okay. that people are making. But research shows that only 9% of Americans actually stick to it. They're tough, right? In fact, 43% of us give up on our weight loss goals by the end of January. Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with a new strategy that might just help your eating habits for the better. Think about dietitians. You probably picture someone who's going to give you a strict eating plan and lots of rules to follow. Well, you're about to meet a dietitian who wants to change the way we think about food. The concept of diet is really what I'm trying to debunk. Rashonda Thornton is a dietitian against diets. She's focused on helping people change their relationship with food. I want to teach you how to best feed your, your, your body, advocate for your health, and not it being depicted by having rules and regulations. Professor Lilani carver Madelon was caring for her daughter, her husband, her students, but not herself. We talk about self-care all the time. Self-care, self-care, self-care. What she made me see is that it is my responsibility to care for my vessel, to care for myself. Todd Lindley also knew he had to rethink his relationship with food. Well, I was over 100 pounds overweight and was on too many medications. I've been a type 2 diabetic for over 20 years. As a registered dietitian, Rashonda combines her background with biology and psychology to help people stop chasing diets and start changing their minds. What I try to explain to people is we should not not love food. What we shouldn't do is put it on a pedestal and call it a reward. What I do consider a reward is nutrition. To do that, you have to find out the why, as in what heals you. That starts with figuring out why you're grabbing the Snickers instead of salad. What are the emotional triggers? Then replace those ideas with healthier ones. What you put the nutrients you bring to your body is what heals your body. Todd did that work and became a vegetarian with incredible results. I used to be on 55 units of insulin every day and I got off of insulin 100%. Now, Rajonda says it helps to always be prepared. Have healthy snacks available at all times. Put them in your purse, in the car, and at the office. You're less likely to grab something unhealthy at the gas station if you have something available that's a better choice. Now, if you want to hear more of Rashonda's advice, you can find her book, Play to Win the Food Fight, on Amazon. Back to you.